everyone, welcome to Smart Cash Streams. Today I'm doing another video on Gala Games Townstar. So if you had a look at my previous video, you'll see that this is a similar layout to what I had previously. This is obviously the um, final output as to what I've uh, achieved and put together. Since the start of uh, this uh, weekly competition, which started about uh, just over eight days ago, I'd say. So, um, just to give you a bit of an overview, I took the same approach as last time by uh, going for Pinot Noir grapes. I've got a hell of a lot of uh, grape vines around the place, as you can see. Just concentrating on grapes, as that seems to be the most efficient way to collect uh, points in this game, it seems. When you think about uh, how long it takes to collect uh, 100 grapes and the amount of points you get, it seems to be the most efficient uh, overall. So what I've gone for is um, six uh, logger house uh, chopping guys. So they deal with uh, all my wood. They cut down the trees, produce the amount of wood I need, and uh, it's pretty stable around uh, between... 20 and 30 uh, wood in order to to um, produce enough uh, wood for my tractors to take it to all the uh, grapevines so um, I don't need any more than six I've got a constant supply of uh, wood going along and uh, I've got about nine tree farms currently in operation which seems to be uh, the perfect amount in order to keep on supplying the right amount of wood to all of these grapevines. And then in terms of uh, tractors, in order to, to collect all of the grapes, which uh, become ready in time and to carry all the wood to the various uh, grapevines, I've got about um, 17 tractors, I think. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 tractors currently uh, working for me to collect all the grapes so better start selling some reach my max uh, that probably brings me on to my second point where I collect about 100 grapes every six minutes which is um, probably good because I'm only producing one fuel every six minutes because I've got uh, one oil pump which uh, gives me one oil barrel every three minutes so two oil barrels is needed to produce uh, one petroleum which uh, this uh, refinery does for me and uh, then uh, this uh, other guy over here takes uh, the petroleum that's produced and creates one fuel so about every six minutes i have one fuel so i don't generally go beyond uh, go below the uh, 24 or 23 figure i have here if I keep on selling about every six minutes and so uh, just having one oil pump is sufficient which means I've got more space for uh, tractors essentially a farm tractor and uh, just need one forklift as you can see I've got um, seven silos currently in operation which uh, holds around 140 um, grapes at its maximum capacity I mainly did that for the overflow because uh, I'm not going to be able to keep selling 100 grapes on the dot every six minutes. So I do want some additional space for the overflow just in case, uh, well, I don't sell exactly in time on the dot when I collect 100 grapes. So that's where I am currently. Um, really don't believe I can make this town any more efficient than it already is in terms of my uh, grape production and uh, how fast I can sell my grapes and how fast I can produce those grapes don't think I can do it any better probably in the future I would take this silo here put it over here and put this uh, farm tract over here because if it's over here then uh, I've got to think about the shadow or shade the three spaces so one two three and then got to think about diagonally, so be those two spaces, but that one already takes an hour. Oh yes, uh, if you aren't already aware, buildings do create shade, and of course, that affects the amount of time it takes in order to produce a grape. So for example, this one here, 
it's been affected by this silo because this uh, silo affects um, the farms within a three tile radius. So you go one, two, three, so it's affecting this one here. Uh, these little uh, tractor buildings affect uh, uh, farms within a two tile radius. So this one is also affecting this one. And then uh, this farm tractor is affecting both of these plots. So, which is why this one is taking about 15 minutes instead of the average uh, seven minutes. So that's where I am currently during the end phase of this game. Uh, in terms of where I started or how I started to get to this point, I went straight into um, uh, trying to produce grapes. So as you will have heard last time, I went from wool production to then producing grapes to get to this stage. However, this time I followed uh, B2B's guide as to how to power my way through straight to producing um, grapes from the very beginning. So that's a, a very instructive, inst instructive guide to follow in the future if you, if you want to learn how to just um, produce grapes from the very start. And then from there it was relatively easy because as you collect, the, uh, as you collect 10 grapes it gives you $90,000 uh, or cash or coins or whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can then carry on building, carry on producing more grape farms and just expand your, your town as you go from there. And I think it took me about six to eight hours in order to get to where I am currently. So essentially I was done within eight hours of uh, starting this game. I, I couldn't do anything further in order to make this town more efficient than it already is. So um, it's... Uh, it's it's a bit of a, a grind from that point onwards, I would say, which um, I suppose is a negative aspect of this game because I've I had nothing else to do once I got to the stage. Th there's nothing for me to do. So um, that's how I started. Uh, in terms of solo account limits, so I am not multi-accounting. I don't have a friend helping me out. I'm not in a team or a guild or, or group, so it's just me on my own. So there's only so far you can get when you are by yourself, because you are limited to the to how quickly you can produce the uh, the the points and how quickly you can rank up and stay in those positions. When I started out early on, I was um, in the top ten actually. I was I was number ten. Uh, on day one for a short while just temp temporarily but uh, I was soon overtaken and kept on dropping down kept on dropping down I, I imagine people who um, had assistance or had alternative alternative accounts as their neighbor were catching me up and then passing me relatively quickly and there's no way I could uh, essentially compete with those uh, individuals or groups of indi individuals helping each other out so as you can see, top uh, 10 is uh, predominantly BTB players. They are all in various teams or, or small teams helping each other out, so different sub teams of BTB. And um, they are, are usually in the top 10, dominating the top, top 10 rankings. But um, I believe if you are a solo counter and, and don't want to be in a team, you could achieve top 50. I don't see why not. I mean, I've I've achieved position 34 and there are eight and a half hours left of this game to go. So if I can do it, and certainly you can do the same thing. I've, uh, I've got about 10 and a half million points. And let's see what position 50 is. 50 is Relief, who is at uh, 7.24 million. So I think it's doable. It certainly is in my opinion. I mean, I've done it. So anyone else who's a solo counter can do it. But I think if you want to be probably 20 or above, you need to have some help. You need to have those additional players feeding you resources, feeding you grapes, so that uh, instead of selling every six minutes like I am, you can sell perhaps every four minutes or every three minutes, every two minutes, depending on how many people you have helping you. So, so um, 
if you had two or three of uh, of my towns going, you could uh, quite easily get 20 million plus. So I think it's definitely doable. Because if we have a look at the map layout quickly, if so, I'm just on my own right here. Say for example, we go here. We have one town over here, one town over here, one town over here, one town in the middle as the main. You can have three different towns with a similar layout to mine, producing similar amounts of grapes, all feeding you into the same town, also producing grapes. So then you've got four towns producing grapes. However, just the single one town can be sending off uh, grapes uh, to be sold. So essentially, you're producing four times the amount of grapes as uh, a single town would be. So you can times r roughly times my points by four. And you would have 40 million which could which you could theoretically be in the top 10 with because number 10 has 33 or 34 million so theoretically with uh, four towns producing roughly the same amount of grapes that i am you could potentially get into the top 10 but uh, you definitely need uh, a team or friends or multiple accounts in order to do that. I don't think there's anything against the rules in having alternative accounts or multi accounts owned by yourself. I've certainly not seen that seen that prohibited in the rules at all. So I think you can do that. Other, I'm sure other people do that. So until uh, anyone says otherwise, I'm sure you can do the same. And uh, if you were going to go that route and set up multiple accounts, then you should take into consideration the additional fuel consumption you'll need. So as you can see here, just one oil pump is sufficient for me in order to produce one fuel every six minutes. But if you are going to be sending that, uh, that uh, freight or boat to sell your goods uh, more frequently than every six minutes, then you'll need to think about producing more fuel or have a, a neighbor town to produce the fuel for you and uh, get them to send you the fuel so that you don't have to waste space on the additional uh, refinery and power plant uh, in order to produce uh, additional fuel and then you can um, keep the same amount of uh, tractors and uh, and uh, logger house uh, tree cutting dudes around so you need to take that into consideration regarding the additional fuel consumption that you'll need if you're going to be uh, selling your goods uh, more f more frequently than once every six minutes or 10 times an hour i think this is the best that i can achieve being solo i challenge anyone else out there who has a solo account who's in the top 20 currently or, or recently as things stands with how how btb are doing and and uh, the, the various teams out there i think top 20 is is uh, purely for those people who are working together as a team or those multi accounters who've got a good setup uh, going on yeah top 20 or, or top 10 dominated by the btb i have found that uh, after i had my town set up within the first eight hours it was a bit of a grind to keep the town going to keep on selling these grapes i mean it is very very boring having to monitor the town every six minutes to sell those grapes it is ridiculous very very boring so do keep that in mind this this game can get quite boring when you've got nothing else to to do essentially the first eight hours are fun you you, you can you've got to think you've got to strategize you got to think about your layout. You've got to think about the efficiency. Well, my mistake. Got to sell some more grapes. Reached uh, my silo's max storage capacity. Anyway, as I was saying, you've got to think about layout, efficiency, strategy. You've got to think about uh, how close you, you need your, your lumber yard to where your trees are. So that your uh, tree cutting dudes don't have to go that far and can just drop off the, the logs to the lumber yard or the wood and then go back to to cutting cutting down trees but then um, not too close because the tree farm needs uh, 20 seconds to to regen the uh, the tree essentially so you need to take these things into consideration to ensure efficiency is at, at its optimum and uh, and if you have a look uh, i've got um, my town where it is surrounded by a river so um it is feeding five water from the very edge 
and then goes down to so five four three two one water all the way down to here so it does help having a river on all three sides of course if you just got on one side that's fine because then you can have your trees uh, on the side of the river and then you can have uh, your your ponds to supplement uh, where where you need water essentially to feed your um, or to water your grapevines so you don't necessarily have to have a river on all three sides but I would recommend having a river at least on one side so that you can have the uh, tree farm uh, set up in a similar way as I have and then just have ponds scattered around so that you can carry on producing your your grapevines of course you probably can't have as many as I have set up here because I just needed to put in three ponds to cover this area here so uh, you'll probably need a few more ponds scattered around if you don't have a river on all three sides of your of your town so I've, I've gone over the cons that this is essentially a bit of a grind from six hours onwards when there's nothing more to do in the town and it's just a case of of keeping on top of uh, selling grapes all the time pros uh, as i mentioned it's it's a nice to to think about strategy and uh, think about how to make your town as efficient as possible and having the layouts perfect and how to make slight improvements to make things a bit better so i, I do like how you have to think a little bit to um get your town to produce the most amount of points as possible or as quickly as possible per minute or per hour and um i would be interested to find out the the layout of the top 10 it would be it would be cool to see uh what their ta what their town layout is i'm sure it'll be a bit different because um it will be tailored for for the neighboring villages sending them stuff and um my, mine's tailored for a solo account so this probably is laid out slightly different, but it would be interesting to see how the top 10 lay out uh, their, their, their town, essentially. I think that's it from me. I hope, I f I hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, gained some insight as to how I've laid out my town and the direction I've gone by just uh, farming grapes and... Um, how, and uh, how I've done to get into the uh, top 50 or position, uh, what am I, 34 at the moment? Yeah, 34. With eight hours left, eight and a half hours left, uh, I don't see myself dropping below the top 50. But um, I'll, I'll probably stay around the mid 30s. But yeah, I hope you found it useful. If, uh, if you did and if you enjoyed the video and... Um, if you like my town and uh, find this uh, this um, ex explanation or, or guide of use, then give me a thumbs up and uh, it'll help me support the channel. And if you want to be notified of any future videos, uh, subscribe and uh, you'll, uh, you'll uh, be the first to know when I post a new video, especially if you hit that uh, bell icon. And yeah, I hope, uh, hope to see you again. I hope to post uh, a new update regarding uh, Townstar and how we do in the future. Anyway, take care and uh, I'll see you next time.